<laughs> What's happening, Anoka? I'm Tyler Bowen. And I'm Matt Stanley. Today is Tuesday, May 29th. A reminder to all rally crew members, there will be a short meeting after school today in the auditorium for introductions and to begin the process of preparing for next year's freshman orientation, which will take place on August 22nd. The Anoka debate team will hold an informational meeting on May 30th after school in the LARC for current members or any interested new members for next season. This is a chance to touch base with the new coaches and plan for summer research. Any questions can be directed to Mr. Anderson and L137. Embrace debate, Anoka. Attention, all students who ever attended an educator ri Educators Rising meeting. We are having our final meeting after school tonight. Come to recap the year, hear about next year, with our give our seniors a goodbye and eat some snacks. We'll meet in the facts area. Seniors, if you still need to pick up your cap and gown, come to the counseling office to pick it up. Tomorrow is the last day to take care of this. A new batch of senior t-shirts are in. If you pre-ordered your shirt, you can pick them up starting today. If, if not, they will be sold first come first serve, one for $20 and two for 35. Summer book checkout begins on Thursday. Please stop by the library early for best selection. Each student in 9th, 10th, and 11th grade may check out up to six books for the entire summer. These books will be due back on the first day of school in the fall. Happy reading! Hey, seniors-to-be, don't forget to have your senior portrait taken by David Banks Studio for next year's senior yearbook portrait section. Only photos from David Banks will be included in the formal portrait section. They are taking appointments now and will be offering a free portrait session during the first couple weeks of summer. Don't delay. Thursday, May 31st is locker cleanout day for 9th through 11th graders. Students, be sure to take home items from your locker that you no longer need at school. It's time to take a look at our weather forecast. The weather today is sponsored by the Senior Countdown, which will be at 1 after day. Here's Nico. Thanks, Matt. It was a record-breaking weekend in terms of heat, and today will be the sixth consecutive day there where we will break the 90 degrees, which will tie a record as well. Today will bring a warm and muggy day with storms moving back into the area this late afternoon and into the early evening. We move closer to regular temperatures for the rest of the week, with highs in the low to mid 80s. Expect more rain and possible storms tomorrow as well. That's your weather. Back to you, Tyler. Thanks, Nico. The Minnesota Chapter of Women in Public Finance is offering scholarships to college-bound high school women entering their senior year of high school in the fall of 2018 and to female college undergraduates entering their freshman or sophomore years in the fall of 2018. A total of $5,000 will be allocated towards this effort, and applications via email to info at mnwpf.org are due by midnight on Friday, June 1st, 2018. Just a reminder to all students that every day of school will start at 7.40 for the remainder of the school year. There will be no late start tomorrow, so be prepared. It's also Senior's last day tomorrow. It's time to take a look at sports and activities, and with that, here's Mackenzie. Thanks, Matt. The girls softball team is still playing in the section play, but will have to win a few more times to get back to state. The girls lost a close one to Forest Lake, setting up a potential rematch with either Coon Rapids or Blaine. Forest Lake will await the winner for the championship. The baseball team is healthy and rested as sections begins tomorrow. The boys will take on a tough St. Francis team. Good luck, guys. Congratulations to the trap team on taking second place in the Class 6A Conference 1. This is a great accomplishment. Nice job by everyone. Jack Johnston earned a spot in the Clay Target State Tournament by finishing the top 100 shooters out of 11,500 in, in the state. That the state tournament will be held on June. Congratulations. Also, congratulations to Kelsey Barges on her number three ranking in skate shooting in the state. That's it for sports and activities. Tyler? Thanks, Mackenzie. Before we go, today is National Paperclip Day. Yes, you heard us correctly. There is even a National Paperclip Day. Enjoy it while you can. There may be a day where we don't need a paperclip anymore. Wow, Tyler. That was really profound. Today's lunch is all beef hot dog. That's the news. I'm Tyler. And I'm Matt. Sign my yearbook. See you around, Anoka.